What's going on YouTube? JT is reborn here and welcome to another edition of my DC comic book reviews. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Deathstroke issue number 44. Now I talked about like in the previous Deathstroke issue when I did the, uh, what was it? The, I can't remember. The Terminus Agenda crossover. Man, it's, I feel like it's been forever since I talked about Deathstroke and then on this channel. But uh, yeah, I never got around to reviewing issue 44, so I figured I'd go ahead and talk about it in preparation for when we do issue 45 because it, it deals with the fallout of the previous Deathstroke issue and Teen Titans crossover where uh, Deathstroke was killed by Emiko Queen slash Red Arrow. So, uh, and they mentioned that issue about like this issue. So we're going to talk about it and uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and talk about Deathstroke issue 44. Let's go ahead and do what we normally do. This one's written by Christopher Priest, uh, art by, and that by these people there. You can see it right there. Deathstroke R.I.P. starts here. Deathstroke is dead, secretly killed at the hands of a Teen Titan as Slade's closest friends, enemies, and frenemies pay their respects and disrespects to the world's deadliest assassin. Some uninvited guests crash the event, the Legion of Doom, but what do they want with the body of the most lethal man on the planet? And will anyone find out who killed him? A brand new storyline begins here with an ending you won't see coming. Oh, actually, we kind of did thanks to your solicitations, DC, but yeah, so... This issue, in essence, it deals with the fallout of Deathstroke dying. You know, you got a bunch of people showing up to his funeral, per se. You know, you got Superman here kind of standing over guard. And you got people paying their respects, their disrespects. Even Talia al Ghul shows up at one point. Uh, Farewell, Man of Rage. Um, Jericho Wilson is obviously upset by the whole situation. The Legion of Doom shows up to do their kind of thing. Um... Not really too much exciting with that there. Uh, but the main focus I want to talk about is the Teen Titans stuff right here. So when I first saw this, I was really confused by what was happening. I'm like, Emiko is acting like she's trying to seduce him at some point. Stop doing that. Blame yourself for what? For a killer finding it what he deserves. I'm like, okay, this seems kind of out of character for her. Uh, we're family killers. Like, look at this pose here. Like, this is... she's looks like she's trying to seduce him. This is kind of weird because they're kind of children, so... I mean, they're teenagers, so, I mean, I guess, take over what it's worth. So, want him dead, now he's dead, I know what you think, didn't think what, didn't think you would, do what, come on, Amico, so I shot him, I killed Deathstroke. It's still my response, and then Damien gets punched, I'm like, wait, what the hell is going on? Amico, stop this, stop, and then it turns out she's been possessed by Jericho. So, wait a second, um... Why is Jericho just snapping at him like this? I, I was really confused by what Jericho was doing. Like, was he possessing her the whole time? Was he just trying to pose and just almost try to seduce, like, a 13 or 14-year-old? And It just, it just, I, that's the kind of vibes I got. I don't know if anybody else caught that. It just seemed kind of really weird and awkward to me once we got, like, like after the fact of what it really was. Um, and then they kind of get into a fight. Kid Flash does his thing. Um... Kid Flash, don't look into her eyes. It's Jericho. He can project his consciousness into... You know, this is another thing I have a problem with. Um, Kid Flash has the speed force. He moves super incredibly fucking fast. And they're supposed to hear things at an normally fast rate. So why the hell is it that every time a speedster does something, he's like, hey, look out. And it's like, you should... Inst for a normal person, it's like instantaneous. But for a speedster, it's like, hey, look out. And, like, time almost stands still. Like, when your speed powers activate, you have so much time to react. But it's like, oh, whoopsies. Unless you said it after the fact. I don't know. Then he kind of does this thing, almost threatens them, goes off to just do some stuff. We see some stuff with Rose Wilson and how she, by, basically by the end of this issue, she's going to become the new, uh, she's going to become the new Deathstroke at some point. Um, Commissioner Gordon doing their thing. It's, Jericho is just kind of snapped at this point. He's really pissed off by the whole thing. Brainiac that is trying to, like, to tell him um, he wants Jericho to join the team. And then I guess Jericho is going to join the team. But then again, like at the end of the issue, Rose Wilson's going to become the new Deathstroke. Um, I mean, that's pretty much hinted what it's going to be. I like the idea of Rose Wilson taking on the mantle of Deathstroke. I think that makes things more interesting. Uh, I'm pretty certain she's going to go after Emiko Queen and the Teen Titans at some point for, you know, killing her dad. But Rose and her father, like, what I liked about Deathstroke and the Wilson children in general was, I thought they had a really interesting dynamic. Like, Slade, Slade is such a fascinating character. Like, he's, he's a horrible human being, but he has, like, his own strange principles, and he's just, he can be an a very intriguing villain. Like, his, like, where his morals stand, 
his relationship with his family, like his his sons and his daughter and his ex-wife, Adeline Kane. I really find the Slade, the Wilson family to be quite fascinating. And I really do like the concept of Rose Wilson taking on the mantle of Deathstroke and going toe-to-toe with the Teen Titans, perhaps with Jericho at her side. Um, the stuff with the Legion of Doom... I guess it's kind of exciting. Uh, I'm kind of struggling through the Scott Snyder Justice League run myself. Like, I have, like, I'm subscribed to the issues, but, like, when I read them, I'm, like, it just, it's kind of hard to follow because things get so cosmic and, like, they're constantly trying to, like, get bigger and bigger, and I'm just really kind of confused by the whole thing that's going on in general. But, um, I guess take that for what it's worth. I'm just, I just don't think I'm just as into, like, the whole DC lore as I once was. Like, um... I'm not really following along with everything else that's going around. I'm just kind of staying focused on, like, the certain books. So, I'm like, there may be references to things I'm not really sure about. But, uh, yeah, the Legion of Doom stuff. I like the Legion of Doom. I think the artwork in the Justice, the current Justice League books are really good. But I'm just kind of struggling to keep up with the story. I mean, it is twice monthly. But I just I, I struggle to know what's going on. Because with the Scott Snyder stuff, it just keeps trying to go, like, really grand. It's like, you just had an event instead of letting things kind of breathe for a little bit. Like, it just goes, throws you right back in. It's like, oh, we got to tr- try and top and go even crazier and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard for me to follow. But uh, this issue, Deathstroke, um, I, like I said, I was kind of confused by the stuff with Jericho. I'm like, if, it's like, it seemed almost as if he was trying to get information out of Damien by possessing Emiko about if, you know... No, let me rephrase that again. So it seemed like he was trying to possess Emiko to get information about who killed his dad. But it seemed like he already kind of knew that was the case. And it's like he was trying to help him out to stop him. And then Jericho played no factor into the Terminus agenda at all. And then Emiko came in there. It's like, if he already knew Emiko did it, like, why is he attacking Robin, per se? It's like, oh, you kill- I understand, like, he killed his dad. There's still some emotional ca- connection going on between them or something like that. But I was just kind of confused by the whole scenario. I'm like, was, she just- was he just acting like a teenager, like, the whole time? Ty- I don't know. It just felt kind of awkward and weird. Like, she was just trying to, like, you know, get information on him, act and pose that certain way towards, you know, him. I'm like, it's just like him in an adult's body going into, like, a teenager and then just doing that. I don't know. It just seemed kind of weird and strange to me. But then again, like, this is Deathstroke. So a lot of that kind of weird stuff goes on, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I like the concept of Rose Wilson taking on the mantle of Deathstroke. Uh, I hope that happens the case. I, I'm... I do kind of want to see them like clash with the, her, cla- her clash with the Teen Titans per se, although I do still don't agree with the concept of the Teen Titans just going into turning into like murderers. I feel like that should be, you know, that should be a Suicide Squad thing, not really a Teen Titans thing. But I guess they're trying to go in their more uh, edgy direction with everything that's going on, and um, yeah, I guess we'll see where it goes from here. So, uh, what are your thoughts on Deathstroke issue 44? I know I'm really late to getting this review out there, and I'm sure maybe only a couple people will watch it, but I figured I might as well talk about it since I'm kind of talking about things that are tied into, like, the Teen Titans books right now, and the Teen Titans appear in this book, so I feel like I'm inclined to talk about it. So, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on Deathstroke 44. Uh, Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Uh, What do you want to see going forward? Do you want to see Rose Wilson become the new Deathstroke? Do you not want to see it happen? Let me know in the comment section down below, and we'll uh, we'll talk about it some more. <clears throat> Hit that bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all next time. I think the next Deathstroke book is coming out very soon, so I'll probably talk about it then. And in the meantime, check this out. Check out Teen Titans. Check out some other books. If you're reading any books at DC that you really like, let me know if there's any books you dislike or whatever your thoughts on the overall universe is right now. Just let me know. We'll talk about it tomorrow. All right, that's all I'm going to say. I got shit to do. Take care now. Bye-bye then. I'll see you next time. Oh, and check out the Teen Titans review I did. I'm pretty much uploading these simultaneously. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay now. Bye-bye.